All right, so we need to do three topics today on Chelsea News. Now, the first thing that we're going to be talking about is as Foquita. I think this is the most important thing. No. All right, so we're going to talk about some Chelsea news. We have three players that we're going to be talking about today. We have Asphil Cueta, Conte, and Enzo Fernandez. Now, I'm going to start with uh, Asphil Cueta just because I think this is the most important topic to talk about, especially with the injury that he picked up against Southampton. Now, he's been released from the hospital, was conditioned with a concussion, which obviously is not surprising with the kick that he took to the face. But the fact that he's been released and was actually seen at training pitch today, obviously he did not train at all. Just watching the other guys play is amazing to hear and see because when that first happened against Southampton, I really had no idea how bad it was going to be, how severe this injury was going to be. It, it could have been so much worse. It obviously could have been better, but it could have been so much worse. I don't even recall him lifting an arm or a hand when they stretched him off. So I thought maybe there was going to be more going on with this. Now, obviously, the medical staff is going to keep a good eye on him. We most likely won't see him for probably a month, if not a little bit longer, though I do hope he will be match fit by at least the end of the season. Whether we need him or not, I still want to see this player one more time at Stamford Bridge. He definitely deserves it because I know this will be his last season at Chelsea, and he deserves an amazing, amazing applaud for what he's done at this club. And therefore, again, whether that is his last game, I hope we still get to, again, give him a round of applause for at least at least a solid minute for what this player has done. But again, good news that he is out of the hospital and he will be at least around the pitch that I'm playing for a while, but at least be watching the guys. Now, the second news, this one's more of a fluff news. It's on Enzo Fernandez and it's his new hairstyle. Now, there has been rumors that he's changed his hairstyle to hopefully change the way things have been going at Chelsea and that maybe the blonde hair was not working at Chelsea and going to this hairdo which is a black on the top. And maybe this is a turning point, not for just Enzo, even though he's already done pretty well at the club itself, but for the entire squad and for Graham Potter. And who knows, maybe if we do get things going in the right direction after this hairdo, maybe the rest of the squad will keep following. We won't know until it happens. But again, this was in the news, so that's why we're talking about it. Now, the third thing that we want to talk about that actually is more important is N'Golo Conte, who was seen practicing with the other players. It looks like he could be match fit by the end of this weekend. I don't know if he will be or not. Most likely, I think Graham Potter will probably sub him on if he is going to have some minutes. I don't think we're going to start him off in a match because obviously we need him fully fit and he could be the engine, the key for us to really, really turn this season around because we all know when N'Golo Conte is fully fit and able to do the abilities that he's been known for doing for his entire career, this could take so much pressure off our midfield. And even Enzo Fernandez pairing with N'Golo Conte would be just phenomenal. And again, we would be able to dictate the midfield and also control the entire match. And therefore, again, take some pressure off that midfield and also maybe put more pressure into the attacking third and eventually finally scoring some goals, which we all know we've been struggling with doing so far. So again, if we can start doing that, this season will definitely turn around. Now, I don't know if we'll finish in the top four anymore. I was very high hopes on that. But after the Southampton game, yeah, I'm not too sure if that's going to happen anymore. But I do hope that Gold Conte is fully fit, hopefully this weekend, if not by the Dortmund match, because if he does play for the Dortmund game, that will be massive for us. And again, we need to win that game and win it by a few goals because we do not want to go to extra time because we've already been hit with so many injuries this season. Going to extra time could just cause more injuries. So again, we need to beat them in the first 90 minutes, no extra time. So that is all I have for the Chelsea news today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and comment down below what you guys think about these news. I want to know what you guys think. So that is it. And I will see you in our next video.